everyone, Cornelia. Welcome to my Blooming Bakes channel. And today I'm going to show you how to make a pineapple and coconut cake. It is a lovely spring or summertime cake with a lovely flavor. And my secret ingredient for the buttercream to go with this is a little pinaculada food flavoring, which gives you a lovely, lovely summery cake. Right, so it's really easy to make. We're going to start with adding 150 grams of butter. And this should be at room temperature so that your butter can mix in well. To this, we're going to add 230 grams of granulated sugar. And we're going to give this a mix together with your whisk attachment to cream the butter and the sugar together until it's like a pale, pale yellow colour. Okay, our butter and our sugar is nicely mixed together. It's nice and pale yellow and very creamy, as you can see from that. And now we're going to add four eggs to this, one at a time, before we add our dry ingredients. Okay, I'm using large eggs. The size of your eggs can make a difference to your cake. I'm using large eggs and we're going to add one at a time. to sift this into our egg and butter mixture. Okay, and to that we're adding a pinch of salt. And we're going to mix this on medium speed until it's combined. And then we're adding our key ingredients, which makes the flavor of this cake. So I've got roughly about one cup of desiccated coconut, which is roughly about 90 grams. We're going to add all of that in. 
and then I've got about one cup of crushed pineapple with the juice. So I'm simply using a tin that you can buy from your local grocery store, um, crushed pineapple in the juice. Don't drain it because the, the pineapple juice adds to the moistness of the cake. It also adds to the flavor. So I've just uh, scooped out about one cup. It's 278 grams of crushed pineapple with juice. And we're going to add this to our batter as well. We're going to mix this on sort of medium speed but for a very short period of time our batter is already incorporated so we're literally just mixing through the pineapple and the coconut and then it's ready for the oven perfect don't over mix your batter this was literally about 10 or 15 seconds just to mix my coconut and my pineapple in and we're going to scoop this into our cake tins now to bake. Right, so I am using eight inch cake tins, round tins. Um, we can probably use just two tins, but I am going to scoop this out into three tins, just because I like to have at least three layers in my cake. Now, depending on how many cake tins you use, your time in the oven might vary. If you use two tins only, it's probably going to take about 45 to 50 minutes to cook through. Um, if you use more than two, it might take slightly less because you're using less batter in the tin. Okay, so our cakes are ready to bake. I am a strong believer of go low and slow with big cakes. So I'm baking these at only 140 degrees Celsius, fan assisted oven. If you're not using fan assisted, it can be slightly higher. Um, but the lower you go, the more even rise you will get with your cakes. If you go too high, your cakes will poof up and you get that volcano effect. So I'm going to pop this in the oven at 140 degrees Celsius fan and we will see how they look when they come out. Wonderful, so our cakes are baked. Because I used three tins, mine only took about 32 minutes to bake through. As I mentioned before, if you're using two tins only because you've got more batter in each tin, it will probably take you about 45 minutes. So, Check your cakes while you're baking um, and if you insert a cake tester in the middle and it comes up clean, your cakes are ready. You'll also see it starts going brown a little bit. When you touch your tin, it doesn't wobble and um, the cakes pull away from the sides a little bit when they're ready as well. So we can now pop these out onto our cooling racks. Make sure you leave your cakes in the tin for at least five minutes before you do this. Otherwise, if they're still too hot, they will stick to your cooling rack and when you try to lift them off, you'll break the cake. So leave them for five minutes and then you can pop them out like this. off so the cake doesn't sweat and just look at those beautiful beautiful sponges they are just gorgeous um, three layers will look really nice and as I mentioned before as well um, quite a few companies make really nice food flavoring for pina colada so this is foodie flavors pina colada food flavoring very very strong so if you make just van straight vanilla buttercream i'll put the link up here just add a few drops of pina colada food flavoring to your buttercream and it will be a lovely lovely summer cake um bio does the same pina colada food flavoring as well just a few drops no alcohol in this so the kids can still enjoy it with you as well 
I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me in the future, remember to subscribe to this channel for future recipes and cake decorating techniques. See you soon. Bye.